I want to talk to you really quick. I want to talk to you about the ministry of the angelic realm. He, out of Hebrews 1, 14, it talks about, are all angels not ministering spirits sent for those that are heir of salvation? And so I want to talk to you about angels. Angels are a subject that many people are blown away by. Many people, some, some people, uh, I'm going to get some hate mail for this. People are going to say, oh, you're out of it. But I know when I minister, angels minister with me. Um, and that there are uh, angels assigned to prophets and the prophetic. And uh, they're assigned to the apostolic. They're assigned to pastors, to leaders. But they're not just assigned to pastors and to leaders. They're assigned to you. Hebrews 1.14 says they're ministering spirits. Uh, I, one time I was listening to a guy who I think he was on sit raw for somebody. And he was talking about how there are unemployed angels in heaven. These are angels that literally want to work with the people of God, but they can't because the church is so low level in the supernatural. The demons know how to partner with devils, witches, warlocks. They know how to partner with, with, with familiars, with different evil spirits to to bring them information to bring them revelation to bring them things about people that's how they're able to palm read that's how they're able to do these things in the supernatural realm through these demonic spirits and so how much more does the prophet able to hear through angels the the angels partner with the prophetic the angels minister the angels they they they, they are they are connected to the prophetic realm and so the prophetic is a realm. It's a realm in the supernatural. And in the supernatural, when you're in that realm ministering, angels are also there. And a lot of times when you're in that realm, you are able to have authority in that realm and God will give you a, a word of a word of knowledge, a word of wisdom, and you'll be able to know that the angels are actually the ones bringing those words to pass. Yes, the Holy Spirit is working with you. Yes, Jesus is on the throne and he's and he's he's giving you his authority. But it's the angels of the Lord. It's the angels of the Lord that are being released to you. To, 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 to being released to bring deliverance. Many times when I'm doing my deliverance services, I know I know there are angels ministering and touching people. Sometimes I'll release the angels. I know they're standing beside. How do I discern these angels? I'm discerning through the discerning of spirits because the discerning of spirits has three components to it. The discerning of spirit has the ability to discern angels. It has the ability to discern the Holy Spirit. And it has the ability to discern demons. And so we have to understand that within your ability to discern is the ability to discern uh, uh, angels and to know, you just know in the spirit that these angels are there. They're there to minister to with us. And so many Christians are not using their angels. They're not praying and releasing. Remember the 91st Psalm, it says he will give his angels charge over us. Remember that in the New Testament, they were so used to the angelic realm in the book of Acts that 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 when the that that they must they said that that must have been Peter's angel. They they thought that that the angel was so a normal part of the early church that they that it was just normal Christianity to them. They just assumed that angels would visit them. They were always having angelic visitations. Uh, we know that that Peter had an angelic visitation when he got the revelation about. The Gentiles. We know that um, that angels visited, unlocked people from jail. The angels. This is in the New Testament. It's not the Old Testament. In the Old Testament, angels brought messages to Daniel that there was warfare in the heavens, and these angels were released. We know that the Mary, the mother of Jesus. Uh, the mother of Jesus was visited by an angel that gave her revelation. So if we look at the plan of God, we look at the book of Revelation, there'll be a part of the end time. There, there are harvesting angels in Matthew 24 that are harvest, uh, that'll be a part of the harvesting of the nations. And so angels are a big part of the plan of God. They are, they are assigned to God. There are angels that minister directly to God. There are seraphim, there are cherubim, there are, there are uh, angels that they, all they do is worship God 24 hours a day. They sing, holy, holy, holy of the Lord. That's their one job is to be angels that lead worship in the presence of God. There are angels of protection. There are angels of favor. There are angels of this. There are angels of that, uh, of different different categories. Uh, just like there are demons in different categories. There are angels of different categories. There are warfare angels that are there to war on your behalf. There are angels that are, uh, uh, that are, are we, we hear a, a talk that they're, they're female angels, I believe. They're female angels. And they're also masculine male angels. Um, we know in the scriptures that angels 
are um, angels are, uh, are are lower than us. We are right. They have more strength than us. They're more powerful than us now. But we know that they 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 they're jealous of us because we have a relationship with God that angels never will. They will never have the relationship we have with God. And so I wanted to give you kind of a, a just a, a little short teaching on angels and their ministry.